Hey everyone, just want to give you a short update on the old houseboat project. Did a little work to it. Uh, actually added a third pontoon or a center pontoon. Got a good deal on it, so couldn't resist. I had to, went ahead and put it in there. And I made a couple other upgrades and I'll show you around. Okay. Let's show you the the center tune I put in here. If you look underneath, there it is. And I had to move my live scope set up and light up forward a little bit. That's a 22 foot tune that's uh, 26 inches in diameter. And come around to the back. There it is in the back. I had to make these brackets. I had to cut some of this reinforcement out. Then I made a welded that to the center tune. It's on both sides. I went ahead and made this bracket to give it a little bit more support. And uh, rearranged a few things on the inside. I'll show you that here in a minute. I got the generator. I mounted it to the outside. It used to be inside there, but I added a new tank. And I'll show you that here in just a minute. But anyway, the water, it used to ride about, eh, about right here in the back, which is a little bit lower than I liked. For one, when I raised the motor up all the way, just a little bit of the motor stayed in the water. So I didn't like that. And uh, I just got a, came across this center, center pontoon laying out in the field and I went and asked the guy if it was for sale and he told me to make him an offer. So I did and he took it so I couldn't resist. I had to go ahead and put it in there, but got it out. Got it all put back together. It's been really cold here in Oklahoma. It's finally warmed up today. Did some touch-ups on the tune. It's got that uh, anti-foul paint on there. Power washed it. Repainted some areas. And I still need to do that center tune, which I haven't got to yet. But anyway, I made some upgrades on the inside, and let me show you those. Okay, let's go in the front door here. So, in here I made another uh, little flip-up table right here. So when this is a bench seat uh, and you're sitting there watching TV, you have somewhere to put your drink there. And I made this little box right here to put the fire extinguisher and miscellaneous stuff in. Of course, you got to have your dog bed. And I made that cabinet over the fridge. There wasn't anything there. And we always stacking stuff up there. So made that little cabinet to match the other one. Got a cool deal for the lake that we keep our boat on. You follow the lake. It's 105,000 acres. That's a pretty cool deal there. And for people that haven't seen this before, you know, this folds down to a bench. Table goes down, then it's got another pad that goes there. This side here comes all the way out to here, makes another bed here. I've got a flip up table here. There's the TV, 12 volt refrigerator. Here's the galley. And let's see here. I don't know if you see it. This there's the AC heat and AC. It does both, which is nice. And then inside here, here's the shower. Just a quick view. There's the sink and the toilet and everything. The cabinet. You see outside that window. Then if you go out in the back, let me put this up right here. OK. 
Okay, so anyway, the generator was inside here, but it took up a lot of space, and I always had to take fuel cans with me to add to the generator if you're boondocking. So I took the generator out, and I put this 30-gallon tank here. This has an auxiliary fuel pump. So you can pump it either into the generator or you can pump it into the regular tank over here. The regular tank's a 30 gallon tank. And then I also have a 30 gallon tank. This is the black water tank for the head. The propane tank there is for the uh, on-demand hot water tank. But it's gonna be nice having an extra 30 gallons of fuel it took to that, I can, Unravel that hose and just pump it in there with that red switch. Just flip it on, fill up the generator, or if you need some extended range, just take it, put that hose in the where the fuel goes in and fill that up. Or your boat or jet ski or whatever else you want to uh, put fuel in. So it's going to be nice having that extra tank in there. And, you know, of course, I added a lot more weight back here, but with that extra center tune, uh, I'm not worried about it now. I wouldn't have done that with just the two pontoons because it was just riding too low in the back. But anyway, that's the upgrades for 2024. 20, just turned 2020, it's January 2024. And uh, there's the dog bowls. It's officially named the boat, the Drifter. Oh, I put this on here too extra one of those because I had one on this side and uh, put me some needle nose pliers there I also wanted to show you some some people haven't seen how this works but this flips up let me pull that back here this flips up when you're going of course I'll move the dog bed out of the way and right here I can this is where you uh steer from if you're not on remote control that shows all the motor gauges tram fuel fuel burn and all that which is pretty cool and then of course here's remote control for the remote control steering if uh you know when you're when you go out there on the front and uh, you can steer from anywhere in the boat but that's it that's all the upgrades for now Taking it to the back to the lake next week.